Hi everyone, I'm Charlie Cronaccio. Welcome to One on One. We are here with Hank Baldwin Sr. and we are talking about the Officials versus Cancer Tournament. Two legs of the tournament. You saw the highlights from last week, last Sunday at SUNY New Paltz. It's going on again this Saturday at uh, Dutchess Community College. Five games on tap and we'll get into that a little bit, but we want to talk to Hank and bring him in because Hank has been a referee for 53 years and a cancer survivor, which is what this tournament is all about. And Hank, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you, Charlie. It's so great to see you again. Oh, it's been a while, but yes, good seeing you, good being here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about uh, your career, first of all, sure. um, when you started, and did you think that you'd be going for 53 years? Well, yes, I did think I was going to be going as long as I survived. and. Uh, Basically, I had very good people bringing me into the organization, and the organization was quite a bit different in those days where the officials had to work both the JV and the varsity game at the same time for about $15. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then we went, because the basketball players were getting so good and being in such great shape, uh, we decided that we couldn't do two games in a day. We, well, it just wasn't fair to players or the coaches, so we t changed it to doing one game a day. We have JV officials and varsity officials. And I, uh, I moved on to girls' basketball, women's basketball also, mm -hmm. and I was in five Division I conferences in women's basketball. And I'm very proud of that career, but one of the, th the things I'm most proud of in my officiating career is doing national championships in wheelchair basketball at uh, University of Virginia and Ohio. And that's the distinction. I mean, they don't just take anybody. They pick the cream of the crop. Well, when you see the list of officials working the game, and says Hank Boldrin Sr., New York State, yeah. that means a lot. And there are officials from Canada and, and uh, all, over the, all over the world, as a matter of fact. It's quite rewarding. Yeah, it is a special brotherhood that the referees have across the board and across you know all sports basketball and softball and baseball i mean you know you got because you you did so many sports you you umpired you you did the whole bit but uh, i i love the camaraderie that all of the referees seem to have well that is surely true and uh, i still after these past couple of years i'm still getting emails from all my referee buddies and the support they gave me at the dinners and stuff like that and the awards they gave me over the years is really a lot of good memories there i'll tell you yeah and we still i went to the maris game the other day and a bunch of the officials came and hey hank how you doing what a feeling yeah and especially i also know they're praying for me also which is great and i'm on a maintenance program i am now considered cancer free after about a two-year battle with lymphoma stage four <laughs> and uh, I'm very thankful for that. You think that your conditioning was a, was a part of your success? That is a great question. You know why? When you referee a basketball game, you're running six miles, and it's not straight is out running. Is that what it is, six miles? Yeah, you're, that's, that's well, two-person two officiating. You run halfway, then you stop, you go back and forth, back and forth, and I was still doing college basketball at age 75. Really? And uh, yes, women's basketball. Yes, uh, on a local local colleges. You got to be in great shape for that to keep up. Well, what kept me in the shape was the officiating. I was up running three or four times a week, six okay. miles, four, as fast as I could. You got to go slower, obviously. Yeah. But when I got struck down with cancer on July twenty eighth, two thousand and fourteen, I went to. Vassar Hospital and they saved my life, but they couldn't really determine what was wrong with me. So they sent me down to uh, uh, Westchester Medical Center, which is a teaching college. And I had probably the, one of the best doctors in the world. And he, uh, he determined what was wrong with me and he uh, set up the protocol. So he did the analysis down there and the protocol was done in Poughkeepsie wow. at the Dyson Center. And the doctors have been fabulous and the nurses have been fabulous. And how they how I'm here today is a miracle, really. Yeah, it, it is. And the doctor said in Westchester, if you weren't in the shape you were in, we wouldn't even attempt to do what we're going to do with you. He said, now, do you want to do it? I said, absolutely. What's the alternative? Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's a result of all the officiating, running up and down the court and keeping in shape for all those years. And 
That's why I'm here. It's a miracle. And it's funny, Hank came in and I said, boy, you look great. He said, oh, I wish I felt as good as I look. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's great. Oh. When you were first diagnosed or saw symptoms, uh, take us through what you went through. Well, it was, uh, it was chemotherapy. Uh, I don't know the correct... The, I would, they were putting five different kinds of chemicals into my body. Mm. And it, uh, <clears throat> it was on a 21-day cycle. They have to build my body up so I'd be able to go into the next cycle. And they had various ways of doing that. And I uh, ha also had kind of a relapse where I got septus in addition to the lymphoma. And both of them have a 30% 30, 30 recovery rate. <laughs> yeah. So it was quite, quite a story. But... The fabulous doctors and nurses and hospitals and the technology they're doing with cancer is unbelievable. They are saving a lot of lives. They don't have all the answers yet because there's so much to it, but sure. it's really fabulous what they're doing. I'm, I don't, I'm glad I uh, was in the right slot, if you will, to be taken care of the way I was. Yeah, well, they saved your life and we are so grateful for that. <laughs> And so am I. <laughs> yeah, I know the community. Uh, the community is, has great support for you, great respect for you, uh, all the officials. But, uh, you know, this tournament is about guys like Hank. Because there's not just Hank, there's, there's other guys, other referees. And that's what happened, was the referees started coming down with cancer, you know, and, and some of them passed away. And that's when this whole tournament started up, is this brotherhood started to figure, let's figure out a way where we can bring awareness, where we can help and support the families. And so the Officials versus Cancer Tournament, now in its fifth season, has already donated or raised over $40,000. And so it continues again this weekend, this Saturday, at Dutchess Community College. Your best way that you can support these guys and the mission is to go to the game. Just go to the game, pay your fee, and enjoy it. And you'll see some great basketball of all the high schools. And here's a list of the schools that are participating this Saturday. So we've got uh, Roosevelt against Arlington, then Red Hook against Hudson, Poughkeepsie and Kingston, which would be a great game, Ketchum and Yorktown, and New Paltz and Goshen. It starts at 12.30. The last tip-off is scheduled to start at 7.50, a full day of basketball before the Super Bowl. How much better does it get than that? That was fabulous, Charlie. Hank, thanks so much for coming I'm in. I'm going to try to be and, there. And telling if your story. Make it. And yeah. Thank you for inviting me, and uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Great to see you again. Great to see you. All right, this is one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Thank you.